Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a follow-up video to the other Ultimate Main Stage Collection 3 walkthrough video. Um, the reason being is after releasing the product, um, I had a few people just mention that it was a little bit CPU heavy for those that had um, older computers, older Macs. Um, and the reason being is this main stage template has a lot of Space Designer um, instances in it. Um, and Space Designer, basically it's a convolution reverb that allows you to import your own sample reverbs um, into it. And so that's what I um, made use of in this template. And I sampled a bunch of different reverbs and things um, in that. But um, not everyone has a computer that can run um, a lot of instances of it. So what I've done is I've created a second version. As you can see at the top, it's a light version. Um, and I'm going to include this with the product. So if anyone wants to use a light version, they can, or the original. Um, and so if you've already purchased it and you want to have access to the light version, all you need to do is email support at multitracks.com and they'll send you the template. It's not a big file. Um, it's only a really small file, so you won't have to wait around um, if you've got slow internet for that. Um, I didn't include all the samples in the second version because obviously that wouldn't make sense to have people download the same sample material twice. Um, so what you need to do if you um, do get the light version or you get them both together and you're wondering um, how to set it up, um, open the original version, not the light version first. Um, then if you don't know what um, folder to put your samples in. Just watch this short video, importing and exporting main stage patches. Copy the samples to the um, sampled instruments folder um, and then open the light version after that and that way all your samples will show up in the light version. Um, I'll just quickly walk through and show you what I've changed in this to make it a little bit CPU um, friendly I guess. Um, so the first thing I've done here is I've bypassed a couple of the spring reverb um, settings that I had. Now the reason being is I only used them on a couple of patches and I only blended just a tiny bit of them in. Um, I tried bypassing it and turning it on and off and I really didn't notice much of a difference with them on and off so it makes sense to take out um, the plugins that aren't really affecting the sound that much. Um, but as you can see, I haven't deleted them. I've just bypassed them. So you have the option to unbypass them if you wanted to, to check out what the sound is with and without. Um, so that's the first thing I've done. Um, the second thing I've done is by default, I've just bypassed one of the Forever Rain uh, channel strip settings. Um, because I figure that most people won't need to use both versions. Um, you're only ever going to use one or the other. Um, so if you do actually want to use the um, version that has the sample delay, um, just, just unbypass those plugins there um, and go to the other one and maybe bypass those. That way you're getting one less instance of um, Space Designer. So it'll um, help with the CPU issue if you're having one. Um, the other thing I did was I bypassed all the plugins on this channel strip setting and all the patches that were routing to this channel strip setting I've actually routed them to this one. The reason being these are identical. Um, the only difference was this one did not have the directional mixer plugin um, but this one did. So one was a wider reverb, one was a um, more narrow reverb. So what I did is copied the directional mixer across to this one, um, bypassed all the patches sorry, sent all the patches into this channel instead of that one, so nothing's actually going through this one anymore, um, and then giving you the option to turn that on and off to make your reverb wider, um, or by default I've left it a little bit more narrow. Um, so that made sense to take out the one that was basically a copy of that one, um, so that's taken out another Space Designer plugin. Okay, um, if you're still having issues and you can't run um, that many Space Designer plugins, um, a good friend of mine, Jason, had the suggestion of setting up a button and having that button bypass all of your space designers at once. So to do that, you'll just add a button in like I've done there, assign it to whatever button or MIDI controller you want to. Um, now you need to do it at the um, template level. The Just make sure your mouse is at the top and highlighting um, this section. Then go to this, map parameter. Um, and just go through and bypass all the main stage um, spaces on our plugins. So I'll do a couple to show you. 
Um, I like to set it on save value is off, not bypassed. Um, you can also go to attributes and rewrite and change the name to space designer so you know what you're bypassing. Um, go back to this one. I think it already did it by default, already one. Yep, so you hit the um, plus button to add another one, uh, which I'd already done before. Map parameter, go to the second one, change that to um, nothing, then add another one, and you just keep repeating that till you've done all of them. Um, I'm not going to do all of them, and then as you can see, by just clicking that on and off, you're bypassing um, the Space Designer plugins. I'll go back to that and just delete that, um, but that's another way you can do it. Um, and then what you could actually do is bypass all of them, and then for each individual patch that uses a Space Designer plugin, um, you could go in and just um, unmute it. Obviously, it would be muted if you had that button set up. Um, so that's another way to get around it. Um, there's another way you can get around it is to replace some of the Space Designer plugins with reverbs. Um, so, for example, let's go through to here the Vverb Long. Um, if you do own this plugin, um, Valhalla Vintage Verb, um, it's only $50. Um, it's definitely worth um, looking at. Um, I use it a lot. I know Michael Fatkin and Jack from Young and Free use it a lot. A bunch of other people I've talked to really love it as well. So it's it's pretty good for the price too, 50 bucks. Um, you can replace the Vverb Long, um, the Vverb Short, and the Vverb Roads with this plugin. Um, but what you need to do is either just delete all those or just bypass them all. Um, I'll just bypass them for now because you don't want the mod delay and the reverb going into this Valhalla Vintage Verb. So what you would do is open it up if you've got it or you're going to get it um, and try these settings. So for a long Vintage Verb, try this setting, um, but turn the mix up to 100% if you're going to put this on a bus. Um, if you want to replace the Vverb short, um, use these settings here and again put the mix up to 100% and for the roads one here's the settings for the roads one obviously just pause the video I went through that really quick if you want to copy the settings and those are um, Jack's actual vintage verb settings that he used um, on the album and for these patches so you're getting an authentic sound if you use this um, plugin and this plugin is obviously a lot less CPU intense um, than the space designer. So you could take out another three if you have this plugin and just copying those settings. Cool, I'm just going to put that back to normal. Um, the other thing you could do, but it would be a last resort, um, but I'll show you anyway, is go to preferences. Um, obviously make sure your sample rate is at 44.1. The higher the number here, the uh, more CPU um, intense it's going to be, your template. So make sure that's 44.1. Um, go to advanced settings and you can actually up this. Um, that's kind of a last resort, but that will fix um, a lot of CPU um, issues because it's giving your computer longer to process your sound. It is adding latency, um, which is not always ideal, but that's kind of a last resort. Um, so yeah, that's the a follow-up walkthrough video. I hope that helps with um, some of you guys that maybe have older Macs and can't run that many instances of Space Designer. Um, but yeah, once again, thanks for watching.